In this video, I am going to show you how you can figure out or calculate how to build a set of stairs up against a building with a sloping yard. So you would have a slope on one side of the building. Now, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the slope and uh, just see if I can uh, give you an idea of what we're actually doing. And we're going to start with a rectangle. This is going to be the width of the stairway and the length of the stairway. And uh, all we need to do is divide the length of the stairway up into equal measurements if we want to have equal steps. And uh, if you notice the line here, this is the line that was uh, even with the top of the slope. And then all we need to do is measure down the distance here. So if you level a line across the side of the building. I'm not suggesting you need to draw a line. You can use a string or um, some boards. Um, definitely don't draw a line on your um, siding or your stucco, but you need to create a level line and figure out the difference. And then you're going to divide that into the amount of risers you're going to need for the step. So here we're going to have one, two, three, four steps. And we're going to have one, two, three, four risers. So if I went up 24 inches, which is what we have here, then each one of these will need to come up six inches to get to the 24 inches. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. So each one of these went up four, um, six inches, four risers, four steps. Now. With this, um, if we were doing this on a stairway, and I'm going to show you how you can do this a different way too, when we go up a little higher. So here we used a stairway that uh, started down here. The first riser is here, second one, third, and fourth. But we could have always started here with our first riser, second, third, and fourth also. So just kind of throwing something out there. So 24 inches up. And I believe the building is 20 foot wide. In our second example, I'm going to raise it up to four feet, double the height of the sloping surface, and then simply do the same thing I did. So here you can see where we're starting with a riser here before we had a step that came out here a little further. So riser here, riser at the bottom, We're up four foot, 48 inches. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We divide seven into the length. If we want them to be the same size in depth or width, and then we're simply going to figure out our risers, going to divide that into 48 inches. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight risers. So that's going to give us eight six inch risers for 48 inches. So that's a second, our second example. In our third example, I'm going to move the slope over a little bit. Again, this just kind of throwing out some different situations. Um, one, two, three, four, five steps, um, and then five risers, one, two, three, four, five. So you would just find a starting point, measure the length of the stairway, divided into the amount of treads or steps you're going to use and risers for the height. Now in this example, I'm just going to raise everything up a little bit so that uh, we, if you remember before we had our top step was kind of dying into the top of the grade. You might need to raise everything up to um, prevent the soil um, and stuff from running onto the walkway and making it slippery or and dangerous, of course. Nothing like some uh, sand and dirt on a stairway to make it uh, a liability issue. Now let's take a look at uh, just something else you can do. Let's just say you had a sloping surface like this and you can see here where I've just added a layer of soil. So if this is your backyard here and you don't want to have steps going all the way down, 
um, for whatever reason, you can remove it and regrade the surface to something like this as long as the building, um, as long as you're not affecting the footings. Sometimes uh, you might have a step up in the footing somewhere and you're not going to be able to do this. And then of course put your stairway in. So just a few ideas. I am going to make some more videos um, just to provide you with some different ideas. Um, but the basic concept for something like this is just simply grabbing the length of the stairway that you need and um, dividing the steps up to be equal and then doing the same thing with the risers, finding a height, getting the height of the soil at the top and the, and the difference from the bottom. So the lower level subtracted from the higher level should give you your amount of, uh, or your total rise. And then you'll divide the, um, to just start dividing a few numbers into it until you get a riser height that you want. Now keep in mind for public stairways, maximum riser height is seven inches. For um, residential stairways, most of the time it's gonna be seven and three quarters um, overall height, but you need to check with your local building department to verify that information. So hope it helps. If it does, hit the old thumbs up button and any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.